Welcome back, this is Cereal Snacks. I am playing Subnautica and I wanted to show you guys some awesome stuff with the Seamoth. So, I've shown you how you can color the Seamoth, I've shown you how you can put your name on the Seamoth. Like for example, this Seamoth is called Snacks uh, in black letters, you can kind of see it behind the arm there. But now they've added a bunch of upgrades. So, I did show you guys quickly these... Oop. Zero Listen to the lady detected. talking about the Aurora. Lethal radiation, yep. levels, Lethal detected. radiation level detected. Yep. We know. We know. The ship is in trouble. Containment field has okay. To anyway, so what I showed you guys... <laughs> She's still talking. What I showed you guys last time was the Seamoth depth module, the Seamoth power module, and the solar charging module, and the storage upgrade. So really they only had these four, and so it was pretty easy, right? You just put one of each, or you could put a bunch of storage modules, or a bunch of solar, whatever. You could put any of these that you wanted in any combination. They've added a bunch more upgrades, and what this does for me, actually, is makes it a lot harder to decide what you want to put on your Seamoth. Obviously, if you want to go out and get a bunch of stuff, you want the storage one. Obviously, if you want to worry about power, you got solar, and same thing with this one, and of course, going deeper. But now they have some really crazy stuff. So this one is Seamoth Electrical Defense. I don't know how useful this is at this point in time unless it uh, deflects Reapers. That's the only time I think that would be useful. We're going to try that uh, on, on our Seamoth in a minute. But first I want to show you some of the other stuff. The other one we have is the Seamoth Torpedo Module. And actually I'm going to make one real quick just to have it. Um, and then we, we have a Seamoth Sonar Module which allows you presumably to map out dark regions. I don't know if it works yet. That might be the last one we check. And then, of course, the metal sensors, lithium and fragment. They don't have icons for these yet, but uh, this one seems very useful if you don't have all your fragments yet. The Seamoth fragment sensor, pretty easy to make. Computer chip and a plasteel ingot. And that's awesome because you can pretty much then collect all the fragments that you need. So let's check some of these out. So I've got a number of Seamoths actually on this map of mine. In this one, I currently have the Seamoth Sonar Module, Electrical Defense, the Metal Sensor, and the Fragment Sensor for now. And we'll check out these other ones in a second. I want to show you guys. Let's let's get this down here. And actually, probably the one that most of you guys are here to see is the Torpedo one. So let's actually, let's just do that first. Let me get out of this Seamoth. Uh, this Seamoth right here, I tried to do something really cool. If you look at the bar down below, you'll see the torpedoes, and I can charge a torpedo, basically turn on a torpedo, and each shot takes about, I think, 10% energy? We're going to test it in a second. I put four torpedoes on it, thinking that I could shoot all four at the same time, but it doesn't look like you can do that, but we can do this kind of deal. We can shoot one torpedo, bam, and it creates like a field that pulls things into it. So we may have to try that on a Reaper as well, but I can also do two three, four, right, and just boom, 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 boom. We can just shoot off a bunch until you're out of energy, essentially. So what would really be cool, if you really wanted to go into the Aurora and not deal with Reapers, is if this works, bring all of these torpedoes that you can and just get into the Aurora as quickly as possible. Uh, maybe even have the electrical defense as well. Yeah, my poor exosuit. All right, nighttime is approaching. Let's do the daytime cheat, just to, because I'm trying to show you guys this stuff. Okay. Cool, so that's weird. Why is this fragment box here? I don't remember that being there, but <laughs> maybe my world reloaded. So here's the other thing that I think is really cool. There's storage boxes, obviously. You can put you can put up to four storage boxes on your Seamoth, and you can see here, I've got, there's one storage box there, and there's one up here. So they've added the animation and the graphics for it. It looks really cool, actually, to have two, two storage boxes on the top and two on the sides. Kind of gives it a nice look and feel, and I kind of like this, the, that I made it green. It almost looks like it's kind of like a little army Seamoth, which is pretty awesome. Anyway, cool. Let's go back to, to Pinky over here. Um, let's see, just, how's my... And I think they've also done the power cell a little bit better on these. I don't remember it being quite so nice in terms of its integration with the Seamoth, but I may be wrong. So let's go in this Seamoth. So one thing I haven't figured out yet, and it could be that they haven't, whoa, as I crash into jitters, my other Seamoth, um, is the sonar. So I've turned the sonar on, and it uses a little bit of energy, but I'm not really sure what it does yet. So for example, I can't really fit in that hole, can I? But if I go in these holes, oh, I'm just kidding. I just figured it out. Look at that. That is awesome. So let's assume you're deep, deep, deep in... For example, the lava zone is a good example of that. 
and it's pitch black you can't see what you're doing I don't think it's dark enough down here to really justify it but boom and then you can see your way through the caves now it uses it doesn't really use ooh yikes oh oh oh, oh, oh. I am really those things really do me a lot of damage anyway you get the idea look at that that is really really useful for getting out of tight spots I can't count the times that I was in the jelly shroom caverns and had no idea how to get out it causes a little bit of lag um, but oh that is cool and I'm addicted to it already that is that is awesome let me there we go okay so the next thing I wanted to try was the metal so so it says see how it's giving you this beeping loot detected scrap metal scrap metal um, oh I want to turn that one off the problem is is I don't know that they fully integrated it yet because it's telling me there's scrap metal all over the place 17 um, but for the life of me I can't find it so even if I click I'm really my CMOS is really having some issues isn't it I still can't find it so let me get out of here real quick let me get out of the CMOS I think he's having issues yeah he's look at he's they've added some new animations before it's completely destroyed um, where it starts to kind of smoke. Let's heal this guy up a little bit. Poor little sea moth. Just chilling with my sea moth. Okay. <laughs> cool. All right. Oop. Oh, one thing I wanted to mention to you guys, those of you who watch my channel, who have seen the Moon Pool for the Summer parody song that I released, I think a couple weeks ago, it's back in copyright craziness again, where their their Universal Music is just fighting me over and over. I keep disputing it. I don't really want to risk my channel over it, but I just was kind of doing it for the fun of it. I think they redid the interior too. Oh, check this out. I'm going to turn my HUD off. So if you look in here, I think the inside seating of the Seamoth has been redone. It looks really nice. That is really cool. Okay, cool. Anyway, let's get back in here. Um, so the other thing you can do is the fragment. And again, it says loot, de loot detected stasis rifle fragment. But the problem is where? So it may be that later on when you click the left mouse button, it will actually point you directly to that that fragment. So anywho, let's go up in here and load her up. Um, what I'm going to do now, actually, did I get an extra one? I do. I have an extra torpedo. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to switch out a couple upgrades. I'm going to switch out the metal sensor and the fragment sensor. We've already got the electrical defense. We're going to put this one in there, and we're going to put a depth module and um, the power module. Because what we're going to do now is I'm going to drive over to where I know whoop, where I know the Reapers are, and we're going to we're going to check this out. So uh, let's see. Let's go this direction. Oh, there's my floating. Somebody mentioned this in the last episode. There's my floating mushroom. Kind of like leaving them there. Why not? Oh, he blew up. Never mind. I guess I don't like leaving him there. Took a lot of health away, too. Okay, so let's activate our torpedoes. This this is probably going to go uh, south really, really fast, but I want to test it. We're going to test a torpedo on a Reaper because that's how we roll in Subnautica. Um, where am I? Okay, there we go. Okay. And look, the ship is intact again, which might mean that there are no Reapers. Um, you know what we could do? I know that for a fact there's a reaper over by the island over this direction so let's go this way and you know what while we're doing that let's do explode ship initiate ship explosion I don't know if it actually works and just when you don't want the ship to explode or when you do want the ship to explode it won't but when you don't want it to explode it'll explode all day long every time you log in it'll explode except today something weird with the did they looks like they've updated some of these plants as well I don't know if they added more hmm, okay um, so I know there's an island over here and at one point they had the view distance set really high so you could actually see it so it may be difficult to actually find it now um, because I don't know exactly where it was except because that, that I could see it oh there it is okay now when I was here last time, there was a Reaper. So let's go check this out. 
Hmm. All right, you know what? Since I cannot find a Reaper anywhere, instead of going nuts looking for one, we're going to do this. And this is probably really, really crazy, but I am going to spawn a Reaper. So let's do that. Spawn. If I can type the word spawn, Reaper. Oh, now what happened? Oh, God. Can I get back in my team off? There we go. Okay. Let us shoot this sucker. Bam. Oh, and I missed. <laughs> oh, what about number two? Oh, no, no, no. No, give me back. Give me my Seamoth back. What are you doing? No, 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 no. That's not acceptable. <laughs> um, Reapers are tough no matter what. I don't know that... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Don't... There's no reason to destroy the mushrooms. Oh, no, 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 no. Can I just have my Seamoth back? All right. Let's, uh, let's try to shoot him again. Um, can I... Uh, here we go. Come here, buddy. Where are you going? Want some of this? Oh, of course I'm shooting way too soon. Let's try the electrical thing. Will that get rid of them? Where, he where our health is at 18%. Oh, shoot you with the torpedo. Bam. Uh, okay, electrical. Bam. Oh, it didn't work. It didn't work. Come on. I don't have no... No, no, no. Oh. But there's the other thing I wanted to show you guys is that the Seamoth will now explode into pieces. And check this out. Um, let me do no damage so he can't kill me. Um, just so we can see this. But look at these. Look at there's my pieces of my Seamoth. Oh, so sad. Look at all those little pieces. So yeah, I would say that the torpedoes and electrical charge are not very effective against the Reaper. Uh, maybe if you get really lucky, but it doesn't seem like it affected him at all. So, yeah. So anyway, that is it for the updates on the Seamoth. Pretty awesome stuff. They've put in a lot of work for this weekend for the experimental build. So if you don't have the experimental build, check it out. Uh, it's pretty awesome. It gives you a chance to see the new big update that's coming they're calling the Seamoth update so that's it for me uh, if you enjoyed this episode please click like and leave a comment and I will see you guys next time thanks for joining me